though starting with the pandemic um it didn't drastically affect me but it definitely did cause me to step out of my comfort zone having to go from being able to interact with peers and family and being able to actually go to school in person to then having to follow all these rules and regulations was very hard for me to process. I sort of feel like COVID has made me and my family closer and yet so distant. It, it's really weird, but it, it's honestly kind of cool. I was already a germaphobe, but it has made me so much more cautious about everything. Like I wash my hands so much more often. My social interaction was prevented and that's something that's really important to me being that I'm the only child. I'm a social butterfly and an extrovert as of that. When I wasn't able to see my friends in person anymore, it completely destroyed me and I'm like, what am I supposed to do now? See their profile pictures? And so basically it's impacted my life quite a lot, especially um, into school as well. So from going from uh, from going from in-person to online schooling was a bit difficult as I found it quite harder because I just couldn't like connect as much I couldn't focus on what I was trying to do and I clean off my groceries which I don't really know anyone else that's still doing that but um, I'm very cautious All I remember is sitting there, looking at the TV, watching the official video, and um, for eight minutes, for eight minutes, that man had his his knee on George Floyd's neck. I remember seeing the George Floyd video and having my eyes instantly flush with tears. Um, I was so enraged with the idea that there are people out there that didn't see anything wrong with the video. How, like, I don't understand how anyone could think that that's, like, okay for any reason at all. And I don't know, it was really disgusting. The killings and injuries of black people this year. Um, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Jacob Blake, and many more. Um, they're very disappointing, but they're not surprising. It happens all the time and I don't know when it's going to end. At the beginning it made me feel very sick. It made me feel nauseous that people could do stuff like that and get away with it which was at the time what we thought was going to happen. Everyone found out about the murders of Breonna Taylor and George Floyd and the middle of the summer Elijah McClain. It was very amazing to see everybody come out and realize this is not just a black issue and that it's an everybody issue. When I first saw the video of Derek Chauvin murdering George Floyd, I couldn't watch it the whole way through. I had to get up, I had to walk, I had to clear my head and then try to come back and watch again because it's a horrible thing, a terrible thing, something that we as humans shouldn't be forced to relive over and over the murder of another human by the people who are in theory there to protect us. What I really found was disappointing was the fact that unfortunately it didn't really make a huge difference and like or impact as many of like the huge political um, uh, figures didn't do their work in order to make a change and, it, and basically ignored it which I found like really bizarre and it, I found it that they just didn't really do a good job of making a change at all. When his memorial came on the television, I stood for nine minutes in tears because this should not be happening. Though there are many protests going on in New York City and around the country and around the world, this still shouldn't be such a big issue. It's been going on for years and it needs to stop. Um, seeing all of those protests is very empowering for me because it showed me that you can do anything with your voice. 
Um, although I'm young and I can't do much, I made sure to assemble meetings in my schools and have everybody come together to speak about their feelings, emotions, thoughts, and solutions to these issues that we have um, in our world. Me and my family, we went to George Floyd protests in Harlem and it was amazing the amount of people that were out there, the community, everyone just bonding together and really just standing for something that means so much to members, to people like me, like black people, black males, black females, black power, like everything. Like it's just so inspirational stuff. Like it blows my mind. I was happy to see that so many people w really did care because I was starting to like worry that not a lot of people in this world were like truly good people because of all the like racist situations that have been going on recently. Um, and it's definitely been very sad and opened my eyes to a lot of things. This year has impacted my life in a amazing and crazy way. I spent my entire first year of high school from a laptop. But in that time, I got to see all of the um, activism for Black Lives Matter and the advocation for Black Lives Matter flood the social media and watching from home, it was an amazing, like liberating experience for me. The pandemic also helped me get a better understanding of myself and my interest and what I need to do to better myself. Because when at the start of the pandemic, I wasn't my best, but now I'm like, a, I'm, I'm a whole different person. Like if the person or like if me from last year and me now met, they probably would not get along. <laughs> but like, they wouldn't have a feud, it's just because they're different. 